Hello everyone, this is John for PokerVIP.com. In this video we are doing a play review for Zwanti J33, I think is what it is. A uh, long time member of PokerVIP, uses us for deals, and um, posts on the forum, checks out the coaching videos, so you know, someone really great to do a review for. Also someone I've spoke to, um, you know, privately just about how he plays, a little bit of coaching, and, you know, just general chit-chat of, you know, how he goes about his uh, life as a poker player. Uh, he's playing on Yachting here, which is part of the Hive Network. Definitely one of those sites that if you haven't yet checked out, you've got to. Um, it's, I put it out as like a top secret site probably about eight months ago, maybe longer. Um, and it's just grown and grown and grown. There are so many players on this site now. And it's definitely one of the softest out there. So to sign up, hit the link in the description below. Or go to pokevip.com forward slash deals. Um, so he's playing four tables of 10NL. Um, it's all in Euros. He's the bottom right player on all these tables. Um, his hood seems to be working perfectly. Which I was told didn't work on yachting. Um, but it seems to be working for him. So that's good news. Uh, so if you need any help with that, I'm sure we can... I'll guide you to uh, again it's set up easy enough uh, to check out his journey um you know hit the description below if he has one and you know just basically let's see if he's got any leaks let's see if he does anything great and let's try and uh, help build his game on up so all tables are full most people have you know decent stack sizes you know a general mix of mid stackers short stackers and full stackers um i would imagine Zwani is always going to be uh, full stacked King seven, he checks his option. I think that's probably fine. We could think about, you know, four x in it, and then you know, just having control post flop versus someone who limps a lot. But I mean, it's not the end of the world to check and see a flop king seven off, and then just check fold when we brick. But maybe that's the spot where if the guy keeps on limping and he's not limp raising and he's not limping with big hands, then we should definitely restart. You know, start four x in it pre flop to take it down, or you know, to have control. You know, post flop. A6 here, guy limps under the gun, I think we should definitely be raising, which we have. We get cold called, and called again, and we hit bottom pair on quite a wet board, jack 6 nine, two clubs. I think check giving up is the uh, correct play here. I would just be folding here, to be honest. I just don't see us, you know, being able to call any more streets profitably, and, you know... We're just begging to hit an ace and a six. That's, you know, not a club, obviously. So I think that's a good play all around and nothing to be too disappointed about. I understand that when people isolate and then they get jammed on or, you know, I think this king eight is definitely an open, by the way, on table two versus two fish. Yeah, when people isolate and, you know, they get jammed on or, you know, post lock goes really badly for them or... Uh, they just feel like they get outplayed. Honestly, don't let it stress you. It's just like, you know, button opening. The more you do it, the more profitable it will become. King 8 here against two opponents. Definitely fine to bet uh, for value. King 7 deuce rainbow. We can get called by worse. And because these two people seem to be, you know, weaker players, uh, you know, they can definitely call us with air. Uh, they can even have worse kings. You know, worse one pair hands like a 7. Or, you know, even pocket pairs pre-flop. I'll probably go ahead and check this turn, uh, just because I don't want to get check raised or sort of make life really easy for two people. Um, we can also be beat. I mean, we can definitely be ahead, we can definitely be beat. Um, maybe check that, because we don't get check raised that we have. Um, and just control the size of the pot. So I think it's a pretty clear fold here. The ace-queen suit is definitely fine to get in bottom right. It looks like we've turned the nuts. I think king-8 is just a fold. Um... He might show up with like ace three of spades or something like that, but I think a lot of the time we just got to follow because we've got a player behind us. And you know, like if we've got ace king or king queen on that turn, I think we can just, you know, bomb off happily. Um, but I think king eight, it's kind of like we need to control the size of the pot. We we do that for, you know, a few reasons. If we're beat, we don't lose much. If we're not beat, we can't get outplayed. Like, I don't think we are getting outplayed there by getting check raised. The guy probably just has a hand. Um, but, you know, it also means we can't get put into, you know, a difficult position. And, you know, on the river, we're in position, remember. So, checks around there, the river comes whatever. If someone bets, we can decide to call. If everyone checks, we can decide to bet or check. If someone bets small, we can maybe raise for value. Um, you know, we've got all the options in our hands, basically, rather than having those options taken away from us.
I think that's just the key point of being in position. Something, you know, as a poker player is pretty important. Um, Queen Jack here, I think we should raise, uh, just like three and a half X, four X on table four. Can definitely get called by worse, uh, we can get folds pre-flop and just, you know, have initiative post-flop and, uh, you know, scoop that free money basically. The 9-3, uh, I think is a good check on the bottom left table. I would basically just be trying to improve on the river here, uh, if not, you know, just really just giving up and conceding this pot. Maybe we could have led that turn. Um, you know, once it goes check check on the flop, we can lead our double gutter. Could be a nice spot to maybe pick up some money there. If anyone wants a video review doing for absolutely nothing, just for free, uh, by myself, uh, just leave a message in the forum link in the description below. We give you all the, you know, rule and uh, not rules, instructions on how to do it. We give you the recording software. Dead easy to do. Pocket tens there, I just pot it um, as a three bet. I, I kind of really find it difficult post up to play these kind of pairs. You know, four handed especially. Uh, well, four way to the flop, should I say? Just because, you know, on a 7-6 deuce, it seems like a good flop, but it could be a really bad flop. Um, what does make it easier is turning top set. I would go bigger here than 130. I'd have gone like 170, 180 into that 230 pot. It's a great run out for us. Um, we can maybe think about just jamming this river to rip like a missed draw. I think the guy who's calling us down either has like a draw or an over pair. And, um, you know, don't think he'd fold his overpair. Don't think he's going to bluff, you know, his missed draws. So I'd go way bigger here. Looks like he's betting two, which I think is missing out on a lot of value. I don't think this is going to induce bluffs either. I think, you know, only better jams or, you know, better hands call. Um, so, you know, if he's got a straight, then I think he jams. Or if he's got an overpair, I think he calls. I don't think he folds anything. You know, that would be in or anything. I don't think the guy just randomly comes over the top of us there. So it'd be interesting what that guy had. I, I think I'd just automatically jam that river. But, you know, it makes it a way easier jam on the river because I would have bet a bit bigger on the turn. So, you know, the pot would have been bigger. It would have made a bit more sense. But even though the pot isn't as big, um, because the draw's missed and we jam, we get less respect for it anyway. So it could just look like a bit of a desperation jam, which I'm sure a few of you guys have ran into um, along your way. If you could leave a comment below, Zanti, of what the guy had. Um, it didn't show up for me unless I missed it. You know, at these stakes, I say um, in pretty much all my videos, nobody's going get to get value for you. Um, you got to go out there and get it yourself, really. And people don't like to fold much. Um, they don't believe too much. So just bet, bet, bet. Make your own bets big. You know, if there's two dollars in the pot and you bet one twenty, um, the lightiness is once they call, they're gonna call like one forty five, one sixty five, one fifty five. Um it doesn't sound like a lot, you know, ten, twenty, thirty cents here and there. But if you you know, we're playing thousands of hands a day, you know, millions of well, hundreds of thousands to millions of hands per month per year. Um so it definitely adds up. King three on the button, I think that's too wide, King three offsuit. I I, I would fold. King three suit, I think we can justify an open, but I think King three offsuit is just a little bit too out there. Once I do open buttons, I generally just go for a half pot C bet. That's a pretty much standard line. Some pretty easy folds going on right now. Looks like we've got ace-king top left, so 
that could be an interesting one. And um, pretty easy, you know, 4x here. Yep, perfect. And I speak about isolating a lot. Basically, the reason to isolate is for a few reasons. We want the guy heads up is, you know, one main reason. You know, we don't want these guys, you know, if we limp behind and someone comes in behind us, then we're out of position or then we've got to play multi-way and it just makes it a little bit harder. So we, so we want it heads up. That's, you know, the reason not to limp behind them. Also to get value, you know, they're going to limp, we're going to raise a face king, they're definitely going to cause with a lot worse. The ace king here, we bet and we get instantly min raised. Um, I'd be calling because we've got the king of spades. I think folding and raising is bad. I think calling is fine because we're getting a good price. So I just call, hope to improve to an ace of king or, you know, a spade, maybe a ten or a uh, jack or a queen. But I definitely won't be folding. Um, the guy bits again on the turn. I'm not believing this as of yet. I think I might have called again. Uh, just because the board paired, so it takes out some hands from his range. And I don't think the guy's probably just, you know, happy clicking with, you know, random one pair hands there. I think the guy could have a draw or just air quite a bit. So I think I would have called on that paired board turn. And then we can, you know, reevaluate the river. If he bets big on... A spade, we could probably fold if he, you know, bet small. If we improve to an ace or a king and the guy checks, we could bet for value. I might have just hung around a bit there. Uh, definitely uh, isolating people as he should be. Really nice bottom left again. A7 suit was definitely a call versus these two players. Guy pots it on the river, so I'd be looking to fold now, though. Can't see this being a bluff too often against two people. And once he gets min raised, uh, you know, makes the fold even easier. The ace 10, we bet the flop, I guess, and then check down. Definitely fine. And I'll just check the river. We can win versus enough. And it looks like the guy's got the same hand. Eight four suited. Um, the small blind limped on table one. We checked. I think we could raise there, to be honest. I think we could raise and just hope to take it down pre-flop. And on this run out, yeah, we're just calling. On this river, I'd pot it, probably. Just just below pot. We just want a bit really big. Hope this guy just heroes us off. So the bigger, the better. And yeah, he did go big. Gets an instant fold, which is annoying, but at least he went for the bigger size bet. Or larger size bet, I should say. Interesting big pot going on top left there. Um, Ace queen under the gun looks like he three and a half xed it. I really like that. I think that's really good at the micros under the gun. This gets so much value. They say this guy's got one euro, as far as I can see. The quality is not ideal. If he does have one euro, I would have just put him all in to be honest and not really faffed around too much. You know we're going to be good a lot of the time. They're going to call off with any two. And we're going to call if he jams, so pretty easy one. Looks like we just got there versus the poor guy's ace four. Guy got it in pretty damn good there, and we, we sucked out, but whatever. I I mean, a lot of people, when they call and leave themselves with, you know, ten big blinds, they're going to just put it in with, you know, any hand on the flop. So ten jack suited, king jacks, king tens, nine tens. Worst aces, you know, they're definitely going to just be putting in. Two and a half X in the button with six eight suit on table four. Really good play, like the sizing. That's pretty much what I do. A say in the cut off. He thought about it. I think that could be a good open. We have only four handed on that table, so you know the hand values do go up. I guess it you know plays similarly to like Ace ten or Ace jack. So we could definitely think about you know stealing the blinds with that hand. Massive pot there. Eight three versus aces on table one. 
Um, this is one of the reasons that I said yachting is the place to be in my top secret videos about a year ago. I remember making the video and there were like two or three random all-ins with like queen six offs and stuff. So make sure you go check out that. PokerVIP.com forward slash deals. Ace Queen here, I would think it's probably just an automatic 3 bet being forehanded. Although it is good that he is looking at this guy's stats, but we, we're going to get value from worse. Um, we don't want to be out of position too often, you know, post flop. So I think we missed the 3 bet for value there. Um, I'd definitely be calling Ace Queen here. We've got two overs, a good shot, and a queen high uh, back door flush draw, so I think it's pretty, pretty easy call. Sadly, we fold, and I think we're just going to get exploited uh, far too easily there. That guy is just going to see bet any two on that board, and ace queen's just going to be ahead so often. Ace or queen's going to be live so often. Um, the queen high back door flush draw is going to be decent enough of the time. So I, I don't think we should be flat in pre and then just snap folding on, you know, a 3 4 5 flop with two hearts. King 9 is an easy fold. Ace Jack, we could think about re raising here. Uh, 3 betting. Guy's going to go after the limp um, really often. Ace Jack suited obviously plays absolutely fine in position post flop. 7 8 8. It's one of those weird spots where I think even going all in's fine just to protect our hand and because we're going to call off. Queen six, need to fade. Lovely jubbly. I guess if the guy is going to jam over us with queen six, then we can just go ahead and bet call. But you know, I'm kind of just, you know, it kind of is lazy poker and it makes poker really easy for the opponent if we do just jam that flop. Uh, but even if they snap fold, we're getting any, t you know, like two live cards. To fold, they're gonna go with worse sometimes. They're gonna have draw sometimes. They're very rarely gonna have us, you know, drawing, you know, dead or very slim. You know, one of the other options might be to check and then call down. But I think that's just a little bit too risky. And it kind of just lets them hit for free. Pocket jacks here, bottom left table, table three with open and got a call. You can see a king six six flop versus two opponents. One's led the minimum. Um, obviously just one of those really annoying spots that happens on these softer sites versus these softer players. Uh, but I think calling down is absolutely fine. The guy's going to show up for king a decent amount of time, but you know, more more of the time he's going to have you know what he had there, you know, a week or two pair. It looks like he's uh, marking people. I think he marked him as a strange player there, did I see? Doubt it was strong, so I guess it said strange. Jack Queen, top right here. Um, I'll probably just go ahead and check and really just hope to see you know a river that improves us against three people. I would doubt we're ahead here, but I doubt we can turn our hand into a bluff and get much to fold. This guy's potted it again. I'm not too sure what that's about. I would start to get tempted to look him up at some point. I definitely wouldn't think about bluff raising him. Um, a call would be thin. I'm not too sure how great it would be, but uh, definitely something I would start to think about. Maybe fold here, but you know, in the future, really start to watch what this guy's river pots mean on you know hands where there's been very, very little to no action at all. Ace queen here, we can definitely raise. Like I was saying before, you know, people are going to ice a wider, ace queen suited out of position. Let's go ahead and, you know, get value and take control of this pot. Ace 10 off here against a shorter stack again. I guess we're bet calling. Um, on this turn, I think jamming's pretty close because he's going to have some draws and some nothings. Um, it just sucks to check the turn and, go check, check, and him to be able to jam the river when he gets there. Looks like we got to showdown though with ace ten, so um I guess it's not bad for us to be checking that down, but to check fold a turn would be bad in my opinion. Uh, but I think then we have to check fold the river. So maybe I just, you know, lead jam the turn and expect to get it in good a, a decent amount of the time. 
Jack's here, um, definitely a good C bet on the 479. The ace comes on the turn and we get led into. I think this guy's got 68 cents behind. If he does, I'd just be putting him all in because it's less than a min raise. I'm just trying to figure out this guy's stack. Um, even if he folds, it's not, you know, the end of the world. You know, it's not like we're just getting, you know, random stuff to fold. Um, you know, you could have the loads of equity and, you know, definitely be able to call it off on the turn. We fans would be ace two, definitely a turn raise. We'd be in the jack on the river anyway, just to make us feel safe, and then we call it off. The guy did have an ace, but you know, I guess we weren't folding. I think it's just a turn jam. River here, even though the straight gets to the six, I think it's fine to bet. I would personally just go for like two thirds pot, and then fold if we get raised. We get a quick call though, and you know, the guy mucks. If anyone's watching this. And he's just seen these games and you haven't already signed up there, you're absolutely mental. Just look at how easy these games are. He, he's literally just been given free money after free money after free money. Perkervip.com forward slash deals. Jack 8 here, we've peeled blind v blind, flopped a straight draw, even though it's not to the notes. I think we can go ahead and fold, yeah, that's fine. 8 9, second pair, backdoor flush draw on table 2. Uh oh. <laughs> he was on a, on a chat with me there, as you could see, asking me for instructions. 8 9 here, I'd lead the turn, now we've turned the flush draw. Ace queen here, table three, easy standard 4x. Uh, just time and time again, we can just print and print and print. It is just so amazing this site. It's kind of like Sky. Um, if you can't get on yachting for any reason, Sky would be the most similar to it. Just the way the uh, games do play. Jack nine here, table two, easy button open, as is Jack nine suited. Button wise we should be opening no less than forty percent. Um I think if it over goes below forty two, forty three percent we've got to sort of shake our heads and you know really start to open a little bit wider. I think you know most most players who are winners will have it between forty five and fifty. Also, if you do sign up to yachting through PokerVIP.com, if you just PM me or leave a comment below or add us or talk to us in the chat, um, let let me know your name and address and size. I'll send you out a goodie bag uh, with PokerVIP t-shirts and merchandise inside of. King Jack under the gun plus one, definitely fine when you're on a table full of weaker players. Um, it's one of those hands that if the table is full of stronger players, then... Um, Think about folding, but it's definitely fine to open on that table. And versus this squeeze, just an easy fold. I wouldn't think about, you know, raising, getting in, uh, calling. I think this is just a pretty easy fold. Queen do suited, I think we can go check it. And possibly lead on this uh, queen 3-3 three, three with two clubs. We're going to get called by worse. We're going to have initiative. We're going to build a pot. That's a nice play there. Good size bet as well. It looks like he's playing two tables over overlapped, which isn't ideal for video making, but I'm sure we'll keep up. Ace queen here. I would just pot it. Yep, perfect. Queen deuce. I'd go ahead and bet again. Well, even though we're not going to see the end of that hand, he's moving the table. Uh, when anyone is making a video, just try and keep it four tables tiled so we can follow. Uh, not a major issue, it's only just happened here for a split second. But uh, just for future, we don't want any tables overlapping like this. And to be honest, it looks like we're going to have them overlapping, so I'll probably just call it a video there. Only ending it one minute, 
two minutes and three seconds short, but it'll just be a little bit too hard to uh, focus on. So, um, the Yoni hands was really like you know the like the ace queen out of position uh, when someone isolated. Um, definitely had we want to have initiative on, and also just post flop on that. We just check check folded a three four five, two overs backdoor queen high flush draw gut shot. Um, ace and a queen you know can definitely be live there. If a queen's not an ace, will most likely be. Um, apart from that, a really good player to be honest. The isolating was excellent. Um, the pocket tens and I think we missed out on value. I personally would have squeezed it pre, but as played when we led two streets, on the third street I would have jammed or made it bigger, so I'd have, I'd have bet bigger on the turn, I'd have jammed the river. Uh, when draws miss, we really want to get as much value as possible. If we think the guy has a draw, then checking is better, but generally they're not going to have a draw, they're going to have like a pair, they're going to call us down light. I, I don't know what that guy had, I think he had jacks, queens, kings, or aces, or you know, sort of like nines. Or maybe a seven at worst, and um, like you know, decent one pair hand uh, that we could get called by once the spades miss. So this was John for fuckvfe.com, and this was Zwanti's um, member review. Goodbye.